Hello and welcome to the 19th video in this series programming Simple Flappy Robin for uh, Android or any platform really using Kokos 2DX version 3. So last video then we had the settings scene sort of up and running with the plus and minus buttons. What we want to do now then is we actually want to be able to A play some black background music and B get those buttons working. I've added inside the resources in the project, uh, in the resources folder here, this backgroundmusic.mp3. As you need to do inside Xcode, I've also included it already as a resource. It'll be in the download um, included in the zip file with this video as usual. And to play some background music, we actually need to add a function into our game manager, which we'll add here, and it's just going to be start uh, BG music, like so. And in yes yes we'll leave it there like this is a function call and then I was just debating whether or not to do that and then what we need to do then is at the end of our late init just down the bottom here I'm going to drop this function in like so and copy the whoops the C game manager prefix here start background music so to start the background music then what we want to do is we just call our cocos simple engine or cocos engine simple engine here uh, and then our get instance and then all we need to do is say play oops play background music and then we just give the name which is bg music dot mp3 that's all we need to do what we do need to do however is preload this background music which we'll do I'll just take this here so I can be a little bit lazy and now we say preload background music and we've got exactly the same name as we have here like so, so that preloads our background music and the other thing we want to do then is now we can start actually using our volumes here so what we want to do is we want to set our volume now the volumes are set on a 0.0, .0 to 1.0 basis so they are uh, a float essentially and we're storing as an int with the values 1 to 10 so we'll need to cast this as a float and then divide by 10 so before we actually play the background music what we can do is get our instance and then just say set background music volume and then what we want to do is just take a float to cast our music volume and then divide this by 10 so that sets our background music volume and while we're doing stuff with the volumes then what we can also do is where we come to play an effect so in play effect name we can actually drop this here but actually use our effects volume like so the other thing we want to do however we've got the setting of our background music volume here when we start our background music but also when we change our music volume we'll want to make sure that we adjust the background music volume straight away as well and that's all we actually need to do one of the things you need to bear in mind uh, inside the application with Android, I'm not sure about the others, but when the app um, goes into the background, then you need to call this pause on the simple audio engine. Otherwise, the uh, music will carry on running, which is obviously for the user a little bit uh, irritating. So I'll just stop the Coco extension in like so and just drop this in so so that gets then everything paused and resumed in terms of the background music so with the in-game in manager then we actually don't need to do anything else now our volumes and everything are set oops where am I sorry we set our volumes up okay we preload our background music ah one more thing we do need to do of course is start the background music and then the music should start playing before we actually run the application though, let's give ourselves the chance to turn the volume off, which we'll probably need to do. So inside settings scene.h, we're going to add in a new function. And we're going to call this uh, function then, uh, let's call it increment volume. Um, so I'll say void and inc volume like so. And then we'll take in a constant int and the type. So whether it's the effects or the music and the constant int and the increment that we're going to increment by which obviously be a plus or a minus one setting scene.cpp now just below the untouch began here I'm going to put this function in so we can see the untouch began as well and just drop that in here so what the first thing we need to do is get the current volume setting so we'll say just um, int uh, 
current volume and that will equal to C game manager instance and then get volume for the uh, type that's specified in the argument and now what we have to think is we don't want the volume to go below 0 or above 10 so what we'll do is we'll say that if the increment is equal to minus 1 and the current volume is uh, greater than 0 or the increment is equal to 1 and the current volume is less than 10 then we're okay to apply our increment we're not going to go to minus 1 volume value or 11 we want always be to be a 0 to 10 so assuming that we've done that okay then we can say C game manager instance and then we just set the volume with the type that's been specified and then the current oops type has been specified and then the current volume plus the increment that's been sent in and obviously what we also need to do then is call the set label values so we update the values on our labels as well and last but not least we simply need to now I'd be lazy and copy some code see which button we've pressed so we have if we have the music minus label and then we have the music plus label so if they contain the point then we want C game manager uh, sorry not C game manager instance but we want to call our member function of a type K uh, volume type music and the increment with the minus is a minus one let's just drop this in here like so where the increment now is a one because we're going plus on the music and now let's just drop these two in here so we've got K vol type effect minus one and plus one so here we want the effect minus label and here we want the effect plus label now the only thing that might not be so good as this is on smaller screens the pluses and the minuses will be quite small so we might later on adjust the bounding box sizes for our labels or do things a little bit differently but for now we'll leave it as it is the only other thing I want to do before I run the application is go into the splash scene and just change uh, this to 0.5 seconds so I don't keep having to cut out the uh, splash screen when I run the application and that should all be be all we need to do now when I run the application you should hear some background music which is a joy to hear as I've said and we should be able to adjust the volumes okay just before I run the application now I realized that I'd actually made an error here and this should be uh, set effect volume not set background music volume inside um, inside the play effect name here you probably realized that earlier on in the video I'll just run the application okay so you can hear the background music and it's a joy to hear it's starting up it's going to settings now and now I can reduce this volume as you can hear the effects volume staying the same the music volume going up and down and now the effects volume gets louder or quieter as well and I can leave this on very loud and this on very low go back come back in and everything stays the same and adjust things as I would like okay then so that's it then for this video sorry about that small error there um, in the next video then I think we're still not going to go into clips the last thing I want to do is set up in the game manager it's very simple it's just the storing in the same way that we've done with the storing of the volume values I want to here I want to do the set and the get for the high score as well and then we can jump into Android and what we'll be doing inside this set and get is actually retrieving the values um, from the settings saved but we'll do that saving under Android I know you can do it using Cocos 2DX itself but I'd rather do it via the Java layer in Android just to show you how that works so thanks so much for watching uh, this video hope it made at least a little bit of sense see you in the next one